Good morning and welcome back to our Ask the Agronomist Facebook Live. Today we have a special guest with us, our seed product manager, Mark Grenmeyer. Mark, how's it going? Great, Kyla. Thank you. Good, good. We are happy to have you. Unfortunately, we couldn't be outside because of the rain, but we are inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Rainfall has been one of those things that happens a lot this year. So. Yes, it has. It's definitely not out of the ordinary, that's no. for sure. No. So, before we get started, would you like to do a quick introduction on yourself, maybe um, your role here at Latham, and how long you've been around? Okay, well, uh, my name is Mark Grenmeyer. I'm the overall seed product manager at Latham High Tech Seeds. I will be celebrating my 22nd anniversary with the company this coming October. And um, since I'm the overall seed product manager, really that's different for our company than it is for most companies. And a lot of companies, you have a guy that just sits in, a, in an office somewhere and goes through data and, and just selects products that way. Team members that actually are out there in the field looking at the products, evaluating those things. And so my job really is to coordinate side. Uh, we launched 27 brand new hybrids. Mm -hmm. And uh, the majority of those are Genuity Smart Stacks and Genuity uh, Double Pro uh, products. On the soybean side, uh, we added 12 new Roundup Ready to Extend products, uh, four Liberty Link lines, and then uh, the, the newly released uh, trade technology package that we're calling Liberty Link GT27 or LLGT27 is for short. Mm -hmm. And that's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really is. It's different than R, R2s or something. It like is, that. yeah, but it's a mouthful for a reason. So let's talk a little bit about um, what's different about that trade package versus other ones we've had in the past. Well, sure. I mean, the first and foremost, what that that package brings to us is new genetics, mm -hmm. okay? So anytime you can infuse new genetics into your lineup, it's a great thing. Right. Okay, so just above and beyond itself, the, the new genetics is kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. But then the other fact that it's the only, or I shouldn't say the only, but it's the first brand new triple stack herbicide program that we can bring to the United States farmers. It was just released just a, about a week before our kickoff event. Right. Okay, and so we've got three herbicide tolerances in that package. Uh, it goes with um, Liberty Link, obviously, and mm -hmm. then GT stands for glyphosate tolerance, so that's things like Roundup and Glyphos and Touchdown. And then the third herbicide package is a new formulation of an isoxaflutol mm -hmm. herbicide compound. Now that one hasn't been released just yet. Okay. Uh, the EPA is still uh, in the process of registering that product. Mm -hmm. But uh, once that gets approved, uh, there'll be three herbicides you can spray over the top of those soybeans uh, for weed resistance and control. Wow, that's awesome. That's exciting stuff. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It, it's going to be a great tool for the, for the farmers. Uh, we're excited about the fact, you know, weed resistance is an ongoing pro problem and right. it's getting worse all the time. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to have a, a soybean out there where you can spray three different herbicides over the top of it and, uh, and have the, the weed control there and the, the soybeans tolerate that is, is mm -hmm. going to be fantastic. All right, good deal. So what about our customers who would be interested? Can they get this product for this coming year or would it have to be a 2020? No, uh, 2019, we actually were fortunate to have about a dozen of these products uh, that we will have for 2019. Uh, we have seed out there in the fields right now All of right. these. Uh, and so we, obviously we don't know what, uh, what the supply is going to be just exactly yet, mm -hmm. uh, but we'll have 12 of them and uh, they can order them starting now, really, uh, for 2019 planting. Mm -hmm. All right, that's awesome. So what about fitting this into your portfolio of seed? I know we've talked in the past on, you know, it's great to have a diverse portfolio, so where does this fit in? Yeah, and that's a great question, Kyla. And I think, you know, for each and every different farmer, it's, it's gonna be, you know, a different way to add this package into their, into their overall management, weed management program. Um, you know, since it's resistant to, especially Liberty Link and glyphosate, uh, each farmer is going to have to evaluate how can I how can I use this in my program? How can I mm -hmm. use this to the best best effect for my weed management? And but you know the nice thing about it is is you, you've got two different compounds that both work really really well. Right. Uh, glyphosate obviously we're seeing some resistance showing up on that uh, on certain weeds, uh, but it's still a good herbicide. It's mm -hmm. still very 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 effective. And then the Liberty Link program as well. So. I think each farmer is going to have to evaluate that, and we might be uh, using those uh, 
uh, those products in a, in a very, very wide range of different uses. Mm -hmm. uh, keep in mind though, farmers should always keep in mind though that we really, really want to make sure that they use you know, some form of pre-emergence herbicide down early before the beans come up mm -hmm. and then use these other uh, products uh, later mm -hmm. on in the season. Great. Okay. Sounds good. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add? You know, Kyla, I, I think that's pretty much it. I, I just, you know, over the course of the summer, we're going to, we as a team will be learning more about how this herbicide package is going to play in uh, mm -hmm. into the farmer's uh, portfolio, so to speak. And uh, we'll pass that along as, as long as we can get information from, you know, the different uh, breeder reps and also from the, uh, you know, from the different chemical reps and stuff. We'll, we'll pass that information along as, as often as much as we can. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll really highlight it in our, uh, our fall post-harvest meetings as well. Okay, sounds good. Well, thank you for joining us today. I know that the information was well received and we're happy to have you. Thank you, Kyla. And thank you to our listeners for tuning in. Have a good day.